Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all keeping well in these challenging times of COVID-19. I thought I'd do a quick video on something you could do and tinker with while you're stuck at home these days. What we're going to do is we're going to install Ubuntu on your Raspberry Pi with minimum fuss and quickly. So what you're going to need is the Raspberry Pi Imager. This is going to help you get the software on your Raspberry Pi efficiently. All links in the description. So once you have the software installed, you can see you can choose the OS system you want to install on your Raspberry Pi. And if we click on Ubuntu, you can see we've got all these different versions we can install. Now I'm going to be installing the Ubuntu 19.10 64-bit version. So let's select that. Next, we make sure we select the correct SD card. And I'm going to be choosing my 32 gigabyte card. Then it's as simple as just clicking the right button and it's going to be all done for us. We just need to wait for it to write and then verify the card and then we just click on continue. Then we just pop it into our Raspberry Pi and watch it boot up. Now on your first boot up, the password and username is Ubuntu. Now immediately after you enter those, it will ask you to renew your password. Now in my case, it's not my first boot up, so it hasn't asked me to do that. So from here, we need to install our desktop environment. So we do that by typing the following. Then it's just a case of waiting, and this can be anywhere up to 10 minutes. At the following prompt, just press OK and wait a few more minutes. Once it's done, you'll get the prompt. And here you just type reboot. And then it will eventually reboot into the Windows environment. Now this can take up to another 10 minutes. So patience is the name of the game again. So eventually you'll come to a login screen and the password is the one you set earlier. Now, if you click on the cog, you can actually log into a different desktop. More about that later. I'm gonna put in my password now. And there we go. We're into our familiar Ubuntu desktop with our applications. We've got terminal, we've got settings, we've got LibreOffice, LibreCalc, and of course Mozilla Firefox. Archiver, VLC, media player, everything you need really. So let's take a quick look at the browser, Mozilla. That didn't take too long to fire up. Okay, I'm gonna look at the BBC News website and see how we go. And of course, top news is the coronavirus, sadly. But yeah, the browser experience is pretty smooth. Looking at this, scrolling is smooth, flowing, good response on click rate. So if we log out and go back to the login screen, we can log in with a new desktop environment. Just click on the cog and you'll see a selection of desktops to choose from. Now in this instance, I'm gonna choose Plasma and then just log in as usual. And here's the Plasma desktop. As you can see, we've got a slightly different menu system, different desktop wallpaper, and maybe the animations are different as well. So let's take a quick look at LibreOffice. Yeah, so far it's looking pretty slick for some free software. So it's very similar to Word, and it's got your regular new documents, templates, etc. And we even get tips. So anyway guys, this was just a quick video to show you how easy it is to get software up and running on the Raspberry Pi. So now that we've all got a bit of time at home, why not give it a try? Anyway guys, so if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.